hello welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to be demonstrating how you can revise a string in python so let's get into it um i'm going to be using a function no that should be def too much of javascript <laughs> so def let me say reverse then bring in your word okay so two ways to do this you might use the one line code there is a way you can do it with just one line straight away and you might decide to use a loop so whichever way you want to do it it's totally fine so um let me come down here and write a bit of driver code to make it more explanatory so let me say word word or okay word yes equal to um let me say hello genius okay so you come here and print reverse then what okay so now that we've done this um let's come back here if i come here to print word if i should run this code okay you can see i'm having halogenous and i'm having none okay i'm not returning word yes i'm not returning word so i have to return word okay that's why i'm having this none over here because there's nothing to print so if i should run this you see i'm having halogenous so it's working fine now before i return word i might just um initialize my output to a particular variable so i can just say um my variable will be the reversed word okay so equal to an empty string so now i said we have two ways to do this let me say method one you might decide to do it using a one line code where you just say reversed word equal to the word itself then you index it using two double col um two colons then negative one at the end this is string slicing you can use this is called string slicing yes yeah, string slicing with string slicing you can just reverse the word using just one line of code so if i go to reverse word over here i should save this and i run it you see i have hello genius just like the other way so this is working then the second method by which you can reverse a string is using a loop so method two using a loop so um you might decide to use a for loop or a while loop for this anyone you decide to use it's totally fine so but i'll be using a for loop because i think the for loop is more appropriate for this use case because i know how many times the loop is going to iterate so let's just get on with it so let me comment this line of code out let me comment this one out so for the second method i'm going to be having um for i in range now this range function i i did a video code like a pro like for python beginners from the beginner to the intermediate level you learn all the basics of python i explained the range function you can see what vs code is giving us over here let me you can see the start the stop and the step so um the range function is going to be counting backwards it is going to be starting at the the last item is going to be starting basically from s then it will be counting backwards u i n e then till it gets to h so it's stopping at h now how can i index the starting point the starting point is going to be the length of the word minus one because indexing starts from zero so for example halogenous contain how many characters one one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so this contains 10 characters but indexing of this h is zero so obviously this last item over here is going to be what 
um, 9, which will be 10 minus 1, basically. So, range is going to be starting at length of a word minus 1. Where is it going to be stopping? Since it's going to be counting from S, which is the length of word minus 1, I want it to stop at H. But with the way the range function works, if I should set the stop as 0, it is going to stop at A because the stopping uh, the stopping point is exclusive. Like, how do I explain it? So if I should set it to stop at 0 and it's counting negative 1, it's going to be stopping at 1. It will not include 0. But I want it to include 0. So I'm going to be stopping at negative 1. So negative 1. Then what will be the step? Since I'm counting backwards, it's going to be negative 1. If I, by default, the stop is going to be is, is 1 by default. If you want it to be counting two steps forward, it will be two. But I want it to be counting a step backward each time. So my my step is going to be negative one. So come back. Then what do I want to do while I treating? Basically, I want to I want it to extract every character, just like just one single character. One, two, three. Extract just one single character, then append it to this reversed word variable, and that is it. So, reversed word plus equal to, I'm doing concatenation here, word indexing i, and that is it, and that is it. So, don't forget, I'm, I'm, I'm tracing it using the index. I'm tracing it using the index. So, the index of this one is going to be the length of the word minus 1. The index of this one is going to be the length of the word minus 2. The index of this one is going to be length of the word minus 3. Don't forget, I'm counting backwards. So, for the first iteration, it's going to be taking S. For the second iteration, it's going to be taking U. For the third iteration, it's going to be taking I, and so on, and so on. So, I'm just going to be using word um, indexing I, and that is it. If I run this, you see, I'm getting the same thing. So, this is how to reverse a string. Let's try another word. Say, university. Okay. Run it. You see, it's working just fine. Say, um, programming. Run it. You can see, it's working just fine. So, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like. The video and subscribe to the channel so that when we post content like this you get notified so thank you very much i'll see you in the next one bye for now